morning rush hour traffic. A huge stressor even for the most sen. But why are some drivers more prone than others to go off the hook on the road? Let him go, let him go! According to Dr. Ioannis Pavlidis, people getting angry when driving is not anything new. His team, along with researchers at Texas A&M, set off to find the why. And you see here stress signal. They used thermal imaging technology and hooked up drivers with an Apple Watch-like gadget that could pick up activity from sweat glands when driving to steady stress levels. Check it out. This driver gets momentarily stressed as soon as they begin to drive after being stopped at a light. The top signal shows the car accelerating. The bottom signal, the driver's physiological arousal measured through facial sweat. What they found, a phenomenon called accelerousal, which is stress provoked by acceleration events, even small ones. When these small stressful events add up, if you're already in a negative space from work or personal life events or are genetically prone to stress or anxiety, chances are you're going to explode when something goes wrong on the road. Whether someone cuts you off or it's you doing the beeping, there are things you can do to keep your emotions in check even before you get behind the wheel. Take a deep, full breath as you're walking to your car before you start driving. Take inventory of your feelings. Are you angry? Stress? Driving is a full-time job. All of these play a big part in your highway behavior. Oh, and Andy, we're already feeling it. They're like, oh, <laughs> yes, and that's exactly what you need to do. According to the American Safety Council, 66% of traffic fatalities are caused by road rage. Yes, 66%. And while you can blame your parents for your genetics, that's not an acceptable reason for putting yourself and others at risk. Take inventory of your emotions. Yeah, and any uh, hand gestures you make, just keep it below the dashboard. Yes, 1,000%. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it zen out there. Yeah. Anna V, thank you.